Right, that's enough for today. We'll see you at the next session. Hi everybody, welcome to the Amex for today's featured game. Alan Smith alongside me, Martin Tyler. Well, we've had a lot of young players burst on the scene recently. Marcus Rashford, for example. Danny Williams going to come into that category. He scored a really good hat-trick last time out. He's going to be one to watch. Brighton will play with these players today. The system that we think they're going to go with is for... And now the shot! He's got it away, and that's what you have to do. Well, it was a good job the keeper was on his toes. His team haven't been in these early moments. It was a great save. Getting the ball back and thinking attack straight away. Striding forward, purposefully. Well, that's the keeper's ball from the moment the cross left his foot. Hazard, the other side able to dwell on the ball for very long here. Cleverly done. A space to get the cross in. Defender did well to get to it, but hasn't really finished the job. Able to cut that out with um, some sharp movement. Building steadily here, keeping possession. Danny Williams. Mistake in possession by Hazard. And they get it away. It'll be a throw. Now Williams. 
intercepted well. He's tried that from long range. Straightforward stop from an effort from a long, long way out. Pascal Cross. That wasn't a very good tackle, but slipping it through. We go back to the goalkeeper here. Can't blame him for that. Hazard. Alan McInnell is watching the game at Manchester United today from Old Trafford. A goal. The break is definitely on. Shot on. It's going to be Chelsea's corner. Swung in from the corner. Oh, that's good defending. Oh, charged down. Manchester United did score in that match. Alan McInnelly was trying to tell us there wasn't much time for it. The score is now 2-0. But a space to go forward into with the ball. And here's the shot. Kept out by Kepa, the Spain goalkeeper. Marcus Alonso. Drilled in towards Williams. Cleared away, well away from goal. And find some space here on the flanks. Put into the middle. And the goalkeeper has done well to stop that one. No nonsense defending from him. Conte. Incisive pass from Eden Hazard. And the player on the run is Danny Williams. Danny Williams! He's hit the frame of the goal. Well, how unlucky were they just then? I do think if they keep knocking on the door, they'll find a way through. Bong. Plenty of space out wide, and they're going to use it. Going wide again, but not getting the, uh, the fourth player out indicated. on the touchline into there the match. Minimum of two minutes. Added time coming up. There will be two minutes of it. Hazard. Conte. Another shot. Look to kid the goalkeeper really to play that. In. Here comes the second half, started by Chelsea. Cesc Fabregas. Conte. Williams. He's tried that from long road. Don't mind his ambition, but the execution wasn't too good. I think from that distance, you've got to try and use a bit more power. Alan McInnelly is watching the game at Manchester United today from Old Trafford. A goal? It's a third goal for Manchester United. It's been scored by Alexis Sanchez. An attempted clearance went straight. Danny Williams! Hit the post! Fine margins down there. Woodwork playing its part. But if they keep on playing like this, I think the goal will soon come. That's Billy Quetta. Great interception. He's got that and cleared the ball away and saved his side from a, a difficult situation. Gross. And shoots! He's put it over. Yeah, nothing wrong with the contact, the power, but accuracy just off. Oh, well played the referee. He's gone back to the offence that deserved the book. He didn't want to stop the play at the time, and he's quite entitled to do what he's doing here. Yeah, I think we all thought he was going to go back, but good to see advantage being played. It's a Manchester United goal that Alan McInnelly was trying to tell us about. I had to cut across him there. Apologies for that. The score is now 3-0. That's an easy cutout for the opposition. Saw the pass coming. Well, he certainly didn't let himself down, Danny Williams. Might have liked to have had more involvement. What have you made of his first half? He's worked hard for the team and uh, hasn't scored, but very nearly did. Hitting the woodwork. 
Well, let's hear what Alan mcinally has got to tell us about from Old Trafford. It's another goal for Manchester United. It's been scored by Paul Pogba. It was a soft shot that came in, but the keeper seemed rooted to his spot and didn't move. 64 minutes played, 4-0. Thanks, Alan. Mateo Kovacic. William untidy on the ball. Bong. Pascal Gross. Goal news from Fulham. This could be it. Drills it in. It's a great game involving Fulham. Alan McAnally is there watching it for us, as you heard, just to confirm what he brought you. And that's the first goal of the game. It's 1 0. Marcus Alonso. Azar. Trying to pick out someone in the centre. And they get it away. Jorginho. That's Billy Cueta. Just working away to try and find an opening. That's a great interception. Loses possession. Conte. That's an inspired interception. And a really crucial moment. That might just decide the match. That was close, and well hit too. Yeah, he really did get the laces behind it. And Chelsea ready to bring on a substitute. And, comes. and, oh. and, oh. <laughs> lucky you avoided us in the draw, bro. Oh, yeah, I know, it would have been awkward, wouldn't it, getting knocked out to your old team? Uh, yeah. Your dreams of Champions League glory. Mm -hmm. I don't know how I could have lived with myself, I really <sighs> don't. Come off it. <sighs> At least you'll be going up against Terry, then. Come on, papers will love that. Brothers on the same pitch. Yeah, yeah, going to be pretty special. Oh, that'll be Michael. How's he doing? Uh, he's got the Williams international icon on his books. <laughs> How do you think he's doing? Well, tell him I said hi. Um, if I'm feeling like it. All right, bye-bye, Nick. Fine, then. Ah, Michael. Better late than never. Oh, sorry about that. Traffic was dreadful. Where did we land? Uh, yeah, it was good. It was, it was an exciting draw. I'll get the door then, shall I? Uh, you know, I always uh, thought Hunter was full of it. It reminded me of that kid we were at school with. Fancied himself as a footballer. What was he called? What? Muggers? <laughs> Leave it out. Uh, all the same these wannabes. Remember Muggers used to do, like, 20 step-overs and then fall over his bootlaces? <laughs> uh, I heard he ended up in non-league, never getting a game. Look, Danny, I, I just had this meeting with this estate agent friend of mine. Right. Found you the perfect house. Four bedrooms, three bathrooms, built in sauna and a 10% discount. Are you serious? I, uh, couldn't you have just sent us a link? Well, you can't live in this place forever, Danny, can you? It's, uh, it's not exactly Premier League standard, is it? It's more like, I don't know, Sunday League, I'd say. A house like that, that'll inspire you, yeah? Send the right message out to the sponsors and the like, yeah? yeah. That, you're, that you're on the up, that you're going places, yeah? So think about it. I'll call you later, Danny, right? Yeah, 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 will do. Cheers, Michael.
What do you think, mate? I mean, it's a bit pricey, but you know, what with those investments you've been making and everything. Three bathrooms? Who needs three bathrooms? I wouldn't be surprised if Taylor's getting a sweetener off this. What? No, Michael wouldn't do that. He's all right. Shifty as if you ask me. Anyway, you've got bigger fish to fry. Like how you're going to handle Terry in the Champions League. He used to offer you on toast when we were kids. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, but we're not kids anymore, are we? <laughs> hey, that's the spirit, fun. I'm sure it'll be different this time. Control in tight space leads to chances in the box. Keep your touches tight and quick. Shield the ball. Welcome to one of the noisier grounds in English football. It's not the biggest, but the supporters are so passionate. Selhurst Park, the home of Crystal Palace Football Club, and Alan Smith and I, Martin Tyler, will be trying to keep our voices above the din so that you can hear our commentary. Coming up now, Crystal Palace against Chelsea. Here's the Crystal Palace team. Probably one of the two front men will slip behind the other and, and augment the midfield when required? I think so, if they start getting overloaded in the middle of the park, that's always an option for this manager who does like to fill his midfield. Here's the Chelsea lineup. 
He looks as though the manager has set up a team here. Whatever happens, we're not going to be beaten today. Does look that way, doesn't it? And uh, I hope it's not a dull affair, this, because we've seen this manager set up teams in the past and just concentrating on a clean sheet. In towards the near post. He scored! Fantastic start. Really quick off the blocks here. And they've given themselves a terrific boost for what lies ahead. So the first goal, it's 1-0. Angola Conte. Marcos Alonso. An incisive pass. Conte in with a chance. Goodness me, it's hit the post. Well, agony etched on the player's face when he was denied with what was a great effort. Marcos Alonso. Well, he's cleared the danger. So we'll restart with a throw in. Pedro. Poor attempt at a pass, really. This turnover could be costly against a side that can break like this. Going forward well. And that will be a throw. Jordan Ayew. Quick-witted and quick in his movement, too, to intercept there. Going for goal! Kept out by Kepa, the Spain goalkeeper. Threads it through. He's through here. And he's flagged offside. I guess his pass is cut out. Zaha. It's a good cross. Well, the cross doesn't get past the first man. By Chelsea standards, this is quite a slow start. Some potential in this move. Milivojevic. Interesting to see what footwear the teams are going to actually use today now that this uh, rain is coming down. Might have to change what they originally started with. Yeah, and I think sometimes with the lads wearing blades these days, you do see them slipping a bit more. And uh, it might mean they have to change halfway through this match. And played up. This is how they love to play on the break. He's in now. That's a good block. Shot off to get the equaliser. That's out of danger there with that clearance. Throw in now. Marcos Alonso. Not a very active way of playing this for the defending team because they're not going out and closing the opposition. They're just saying, well, you can have the ball. We'll cope with it. But it does invite this. And this could bring them level. And the keeper's pulled that one out of the bag. That did look like a real opening, but they've dealt with it. The pass not completed, really. There will be a minimum. Two minutes left. That's added time. He spotted a teammate and he's got the technique as well as the vision to. Well, the referee has signaled for half time and it's 1 0 here. Chelsea ready and off and running at the start of the second half. Conte. Now Williams. Look at the skill there, Alan. Well, that is the type of skill that can win football matches. That's good play once more. He's knocked it out of harm's way. That's his game, isn't it? Intercepting. Conte. Danny Williams. 
Marcus Alonso. Here's Conte. Palace about to make a change here. Building steadily here, keeping possession. And now the shot! A chance to get level and they press again. Well, if they continue playing like this, they will get more chances, will get better chances than that, I think. Number 17, Christian Benteke. I think that's a good performance, isn't it, Alan, from him in the first half? Yeah, I thought he looked lively in that first half. Really sharp and obviously got the goal. Another 45 of that and he'll be well pleased. Anticipated the direction of the pass and was able to intervene. They might have played him in here. He saw the look from the other player and saw where the pass was going and read it. We've had an hour gone here and still 30 minutes left. Shot blocked here. Had a real chance to get in at goal then. Lost the ball. Now it's Williams. Tackle here. Martin Kelly. Townsend. Penteke. Zaha. Ayo! Didn't hit it cleanly at all. Substitution for Crystal Palace. Two substitutions to come, one from each camp. Number 42, Jason Punchley. To be replaced by number seven, Maximilian Meyer. Double substitution. Let's work on some ball control today, yeah? Quick feet, tight touches. I'm not sure, Ollie. All I'm saying, Lily, is you keep putting the crosses in and I will keep adding them in, you know? Good to finally see you using your head for something useful. You know, I try, I really do. And what would you say has earned you your transfer to French Giants PSG? Well, strikers all over Europe are scared of me. Because I don't give them room to breathe, do you know what I mean? It's all about winning your one-on-ones. And uh, making sure the man you're up against remembers who you're beating. And how are you feeling about going up against your brother, Danny Williams, in the group stages? Uh, must be a big thing for you. Uh, well, it might be for him. I can't say I care, really. <laughs> Once you win one of these, nothing really phases you. Interesting point. Although, if memory serves, you didn't actually play in the final, did you? Well, it was the first season in Italy I was getting bedded in. But I played a part in getting us there. Don't you worry about that. It's a squad game, mate. Do you understand? Anyway, I don't sweat my brother. How is he going to get the better of me? And if you're watching, Danny, I love you, mate. Ooh. Williams. Boss, I was wondering if I could uh, put some extra practice in, you know, work on what the gaffer wanted. Oh, good on you. Well, the pitch is always available. I'm not asking about the pitch. I'm uh, <clears throat> wondering if uh, uh, you'd help train me. What was that, Williams? I didn't, uh, didn't quite hear you. I was wondering if you would help train me. Just say when, son. Cool. 
Nice one. I'll text you the directions. Directions? Just missed. <laughs> oh, did you see that? That was close, wasn't it? A warm welcome to our live coverage. I'm Derek Ray with Lee Dixon alongside me in the commentary box. And we're back under the floodlights tonight for keenly awaited Champions League action as the group stage business begins for these two teams. Always an exciting prospect, Lee. Well, Derek, pre-game, I always look down at the players and see if I can see any nerves. I'm looking down at Danny Williams making his Champions League debut tonight for Chelsea. He looks a little bit nervous to me, but he's got talent talent throughout every bone in his body and a look at the Chelsea starting 11 an element of caution about this selection they're 4-5-1 Derek the five players behind the lone striker will need to support him lots of very strong midfield offensively and also defensively the back four will be protected throughout the game this is the lineup for the visitors today pretty well balanced this formation Lee yeah it can be a 4-2-3-1 in the offensive mode, but it can also go back to a 4-5-1 when you're defending. The lone striker will be supported by the three just behind him, especially the number 10 who will be given a free roll. Can they hit on the break? Well, he's given it away. Well, he's such a difficult opponent with his incisive running, Aidan Azarly. Well, he's a nightmare to play against, he really is. He plays on that left-hand side, but he's right-footed, so... He cuts in off that left-hand side. He just creates space. That's effort. Wayward, to say the least, Lee. Well, it's all about his body shape. Look what he's doing. Well, there's so much competition for honours just in England, Lee. But despite that, Chelsea always target the Champions League when they're in the competition. Well, yeah, past winners. And whenever I think... Can they take that lead? Crucial block from David Luiz. Jorginho, Danny Williams, Conte, and the ball with Williams, Cesc Fabregas on the ball. Stepanenko, they've lost it, and the ball with Williams, Azar on the ball, and now here's Aidan Azar. And now Danny Williams, and a powerful effort, but just lacking accuracy. Yeah, narrowly wide, Derek. Decent effort, he smashed it. That's Billy Quetta. Conte now. Jorginho, it's with Fabregas. Danny Williams. 
when you talk about Chelsea, you talk about a team many people fancied to win the Champions League a decade or so ago. It didn't happen, and then against all the odds in 2012, it did finally happen. Yeah, absolutely. You have to say they deserved it. They could get plugging away each year, but not so long ago before that as well, they were in the wilderness, Chelsea, and obviously Mr Abramovich's money has put them onto the Champions League platform now. Bogdan Butko. Marishev. Tyson. And the attack fades out. Jorginho. Danny Williams. Conte now. Jorginho. And now can he keep calm? And William whips it in. And it is the opening goal of the contest. Well, it was always going to be a tight game, but now all of a sudden, one team ahead. Things have got to change on both sides. Well, you will concede less goals if you stop the crosses. On this occasion, they don't, and they pay the ultimate penalty. The ball's in the back of the net. Stop the cross. So, underway once again. Chelsea with the lead in this match. Number 34, Danny Williams. Jorginho. Now William. And passing with a velvet touch. Williams. And it's gone in here. Just what Chelsea fans wanted to see. Their lead extended to two goals. Well, we're going to see that again and let's see the cross again. It's absolutely brilliant. Good power on it, and then watch this headed goal. Slightly different vantage point in terms of the goal that was scored. So 2 0 now. Goal for Chelsea. Malyshev on the ball. Alan Patrick here. The electronic board has been held aloft. Two additional minutes here. Both officials indicated there will be a minimum of two Trying to get high marks for that. And so the first half draws to a close here in West London. And so the second half of this Champions League group stage match day one contest commences. Marlos. Hazard on the ball. Jorginho. N'Golo Conte. Jorginho. Aidan Hazard. Chelsea getting the ball forward. What can they do from this position? Hazard with others to team up with. Tremendous block. Every goalkeeper would expect to catch that one. Well, just couldn't keep himself onside. They've given it away. Aidan Azar running with the ball confidently. And dispossessed. Jorginho and now William coming into it Fabregas and now Danny Williams and the post coming to the goalkeeper's aid and the defender finding a solution to the problem both managers deciding this is the time to change things around. Both teams going to the bench. Mateo Kovacic. Jorginho. It's with William. Jorginho. He's taken on the shots, but he's failed to beat the goalkeeper from there, Lee. Well, it was well worth the effort, but uh, well off target.
David Luiz. And the ball with Williams. So 20 minutes to go. Plenty of running room in the wide position. Into the centre by Azar. Just wanted to get it out of there. Manishev on the ball. Given away. Azar. Mateo Kovacic. Jorginho. And the ball with Williams. And here now is Conte. Williams. And he takes on the shot. And the ball with Williams. Jorginho. Conte now. And now Danny Williams. Viktor Kovarenko. It's with Marlos. Well, he's given it away. Chelsea happy to pass the ball around and get it forward. And now here's Aiden Azar. And the danger cleared. It has gone over the touchline for what will be a throw in. Jorginho. Coming onto the pitch. Taking care of business defensively here. Here's Kovacic. Teamwork might be the key. Thumps clear. On the ball, Tara Stepanenko. Ismaili. Inside the final two minutes of this contest. Man of the match. Number 22. On the ball, Zappa Costa. We've had the official word. There will be a minimum of two added minutes. indicated there will be a minimum of two minutes. Victor Kovarenko. And there goes the full-time whistle. Chelsea claim all three points in their opening match in the UEFA Champions League. Well, it's everything you want from the start of match one. Good, strong start. That result will give everybody confidence, especially the players. Well done. First Champions League game for you, Danny. Enjoy the experience. Well, I mean, it was such an honour when the boss picked me for this game. I mean, as you know, Champions League is everything to this club. So the fact that he uh, put some faith in me and, uh, and you know, put me in the side, that's, um, that means a lot. It means a lot. Big responsibility. Yeah, I know. It's, uh, it's massive, but... You know, I just try and put the graft in and the hard work and uh, take uh, each match as it comes. Don't forget to enjoy it too. No, oh, yeah, yeah, I'll try.
Do the love. Christmas at the Williams. Must be fun. <laughs> A big night at a great venue, the Parc des Princes, here in the French capital, Paris. I'm Derek Ray, joined here on the commentary box by Lee Dixon. And in the group stage of the Champions League, PSG play host to their chief rivals in this particular section. It's Paris Saint-Germain taking on Chelsea. Well, Derek, both teams got off to a flying start in their opening group match, didn't they? But something has to give tonight. Looking forward to this one. And this Champions League group stage contest commences. And here is the initial 11 for Paris Saint-Germain. We're thinking 4-3-3. Yeah, one central striker, Derek. The width comes from the wingers who will stay high and wide. A very narrow midfield and a conventional back four. Here's the lineup for Chelsea. An element of caution about this selection. We have 4 5 1, Derek. The five players behind the lone striker will need to support him. Lots of very strong midfield offensively and also defensively. The back four will be protected throughout the game. He's given it away. It is to be a throw in. The ball with Marcos Alonso. An authoritative challenge. Now, far from a smooth challenge. Now, will the referee produce a card? Referees like to manage the game just as much as players do. But today, it is an early yellow card, and we'll see what effect that has on the match. Well, it'll have a big effect, especially on the player. And also, the defenders around that player that's been booked earlier in the game, because they now know he's walking a tightrope. The Chelsea move still. Great vision from Danny Williams. He's just a thorough reader of the game. And there we saw it. Throw in here for PSG. Here's Mbappe. Moving through the gears. Joaquin Gallo. Aspiliqueta. And it's with Joaquin Gallo. Well, so much of the storyline coming in had to do with the battle of the brothers. Danny and Terry Williams, the target man versus the powerful centre-back. It should make for an interesting contest, Lee. Well, yeah, there's lots of quotes attributed to Terry over the last few weeks. I'm not so sure I take too much of that on board, but it's a battle of the minds. It really is. When you're playing against someone you know, an ex-teammate, etc., it's bad enough, but when you're playing against a sibling, it can be really, really vital that you stay focused on your own game and don't let the mind games play a part. Aidan Azar. Ball lost by Chelsea. Well, I think it's fair to say, Lee, when you talk about teams that could win the UEFA Champions League, Chelsea have to be in that conversation. Yeah, absolutely. They've forced themselves onto that platform now, and quite rightly so, and they're a team really, really difficult to beat, and they produce such exciting football at times as well, Derek. Can he do it from miles up? From so far away, it didn't appear to be the high percentage option. Close, though. Well, he surprised everybody, including me. Long-range effort, and it wasn't too far off, was it? Verratti now. Diara. N'Golo Conte. Chelsea happy to... Azar! And it is the opening goal of the contest. Well, it was always going to be a tight game, but now all of a sudden, one team ahead. Things have got to change on both sides. Well, we see it again, Derek. There's all ways of scoring a goal. Lacey's outside of the foot. On this occasion, he uses his instep. It's a really, really good finish. And they are back underway. Chelsea with the advantage. Mbappe with it. 
This attack looks highly promising. It did appear that they might be onto something, but not so. Braxler. Neymar. Well, they've jumped in front, Lee. That's the most important thing. Your assessment so far? Well, Chelsea would be happy if it stays like this. Still some work to do in the second half, though. With the... William! Well, the header that was, frankly, miles off target. Well, technically, that was um, awful. Thiago Silva. Dani Alves with it. Cesc Fabregas on the ball. And it's with Bernard. Looking confident with the ball at his feet. Chelsea couldn't maintain possession. Can they do something positive on the counter-attack? Good vision from Lasana Diara. It could be the big moment for him. Terrific reflex action. Yeah, you've just got to come out and spread yourself and hope for the best. Short corner favoured. Aimed towards Mbappe. Well, he wasn't messing around with the clearance. And the referee has added on two minutes of stoppage time. It's really opening up positively for Chelsea. Williams. Well, he was just a fraction offside then. That's all he needs to be, a fraction. And it was so close. And that is that for the first... Ready for the start of the second half. It's Chelsea with the advantage. And on the ball, Bernard. Conte. William. Good tackle. Now Kurzawa. Neymar. And another eye-catching performance tonight from Aiden Azar in the first half, certainly, Lee. Well, Derek, it certainly was a good 45 minutes from the lad, obviously got... And on the volley, that's not exactly how he intended to catch it. Well, it's worth a chance. One in ten, it goes in the top corner. Nine out of ten goes where it did do. This is Aspili Quetta. Conte now. Zappa Costa has it. Conte has lost the ball. Neymar. Kylian Mbappe. Conte now. It's with Fabregas. On the ball, Zappa Costa. Chelsea getting the ball forward. What can they do from this position? Simple save for Gigi Buffon. Diara. And we're inside the final 30 minutes. Verratti. And Neymar. And the ball with Williams. Great vision from Danny Williams. Read it superbly to take back possession. And the defender finding a solution to the problem. And a throw in forthcoming. Substitution it is for PSG. That's Billy Quetta now. Danny Williams. And in with a real chance. Only the keeper to beat. And Chelsea have done it. It's going to be so difficult to stop them now. Well, just look at this. They all back off him, and he takes the advantage. He goes through one, two, three. In the end, it's a wonderful solo goal. Well, a second goal for them here. Verratti now. Mbappe with it. Verratti just possessed. So, 20 minutes to go. Now, Rabiot. He had the sixth sense to know what to do and win it back.
Verratti. Neymar. Neymar wishes he had that passing opportunity back. Mateo Kovacic. Jorginho. And the ball with Williams. Excellent ball from Danny Williams. And it might be Conte. Crossing opportunity. Well, let's see what he has in store for them. Edinson Cavani now. Neymar dispossessed. And the ball with Williams. Well, that is how to run at defenders. And a goal kick is the outcome. Mbappe with it. Diara. Here's Mbappe. Now regaining possession for his side cleverly. And it's Terry Williams with it. Jorginho. And the ball with Williams. The electronic board has been held aloft. Two additional minutes here. On the ball, Aspiliqueta. And there goes the final whistle. Three points in the bag against the resolute PSG side. Away from home, no less. Job done, Lee. Well, I'm sure Danny Williams would have loved to get a goal tonight, like any night, but especially against his brother. But he won't mind too much. The three points, as you said, Derek, are in the bag. Well done. Playing in the Champions League against your brother, what did it feel like getting the better of him? Uh, well, getting the win tonight was great. Um, I mean, maybe felt like we got the rub of the green a little bit, but we took our chances. We took advantage of the situation when they didn't, so that was good. Um, and, you know, Terry, he's, he's a good player, as they all are, so I'm sure they'll be coming after us hard next time. Well, I have no doubt. Uh, was it fun seeing him out there? Yeah, yeah, I guess it was fun. I mean, he was, uh, he was marking me, or, well, trying to mark me, and he hasn't had to do that since uh, I was a wee nipper. Well, thank you, Danny. Yeah, yeah, you're welcome. Hey, can you, uh, can you grab that thing? Yeah. All right. Uh, it's called a lighting shield. Just stand over there. Angle it. <laughs> Good. A little more. Good job. Uh, Danny. Hi. 
Little higher, please. Great. Great. Okay. Okay, we got it. Thank you, Danny. Cling. Timing is everything in this league, so I want to see purpose and precision. Good evening and welcome. The rain has been lashing down in the build-up to this fixture here in the London postcode of SW6, synonymous with Stamford Bridge. My name is Derek Ray, joined for commentary tonight by Lee Dixon.
and we've got Champions League group stage fair on the menu. It is Chelsea up against Ajax. Yeah, thanks, Derek. Goosebumps, that's the only word I can think of. I always get goosebumps on European nights watching under floodlights. I wish I was down there, but second best place is up here with you, Derek. Champions League nights are always special. I can't wait for this one. And a look at the Chelsea starting 11. An element of caution about the selection. Yeah, 4-5-1, Derek. The five players behind the lone striker will need to support him. Lots of very strong midfield offensively and also defensively. The back four will be protected throughout the game. The opposition starting 11. This particular setup is becoming more and more in favour. Yes, Derek. One central striker. Two wingers will provide the width. A very narrow. And could it be Aidan Azar? And the goal gaping at him. No spillage from the goalkeeper. Routine. Azar. And the ball with Williams. David Luiz. Chelsea finding forward gears. Can they take advantage of this promising position? Let's take a look at the table. And it has been a good start from Chelsea in the UEFA Champions League. Two games, two wins, and they are flying in this group. Well, perfect. And he's made headway. Does he have the beating of the goalkeeper? And the shot decidedly lacking accuracy. Well, he had other options as well, but he chose to shoot. Fabregas, Jorginho, it's with William. You know, Chelsea have an awful lot of space. Given away by Fabregas. Ball with Nicolas Tagliafico. Oh, goodness, he was right on top of the situation to get the ball back for his team. De Jong, it might be perfectly set up for the counter-attack, you know. The tackle crisp and accurate. Jorginho, and the ball with Williams, and Golo Conte, Aidan Azar, Conte, it's with Hakim Ziyech, will there be a tangible end product, can they take the lead, just a bit too high with that powerful effort, yeah he's just leaned back Derek, power was there but not the direction, Aspili Quetta now. They couldn't maintain possession. Lassian Hunterar. And now David Neres. Carrying a genuine threat here. And the pass provided by Danny Williams. Williams! And it is the opening goal of the contest. Well, it was always going to be a tight game, but now all of a sudden, one team ahead. Things have got to change on both sides. Well, you tell youngsters in that position just to hit the target. You can't score unless you do. And on this occasion, he does, and he scores. So the game has restarted, and Chelsea are the team with the lead. Blint. Donny van der Beek. Ziyech. Is he going to punish them here? Goalkeeping right out of the top drawer. I cannot believe he's kept that out the net. Absolutely amazing. And a deep corner into the centre of the area. Well, that was anything but a textbook header, Lee. Well, to be fair to him, it's not the easiest of chances. He's just caught you off the top of his head, really. And given away by Marcos Alonso. The emphasis is on passing the ball forward. Now, what can they do from here? And that's sound goalkeeping to hang on to the shot like the that. Has indicated there will be a the referee has decided two that two additional minutes are in order. Danny Williams. And the, and the first 40...
Underway then in the second half of this Champions League group stage confrontation. It's with Hakim Ziyech. Labiad. William. Advantageous situation here for Chelsea developing. And a chance for Aiden Hazard. And a wonderful save. All types of save keepers make, but that's really important. Look how close the striker gets. Donny van der Beek. He's been the standout for his side so far, don't you think, Lee? Well, Derek, he certainly was a good 45. Oh, he's through here. Only the keeper to beat. And oh, he's missed it. Good heavens. Well, what a chance for an equaliser, Derek. At this level, you don't get many chances. And that was one of them. Number 17, Matteo Cavicci. Aspili Quetta. Conte. It's with Marcos Alonso. Daily Blint. It's with Schöne. It's with Hakim Ziyech. And now Danny Williams. Now far from a smooth challenge. Now will the referee produce a card? And that will mean a caution. Well, definitely a yellow card, Derek. And William tries his luck. On the free kick from long range, he didn't miss by much, Lee. No, I thought the ball would be coming into the box, but long range free kick, he's had a go. It's with Hakim Ziyech. Well, let's see, does he mean business? Giving the ball to the opposition that time. And no-nonsense defensive clearance. An authoritative challenge. Tadic has it. An abundance of space. Early ball in. Attending to his defensive chores. Azar on the ball. Daily Blitz. Dusan Tadic. Not much defensive cover there on the flank. Targets available. Cross comes in. Well, they had a decent reading of that ball in. Oh, goodness, he was right on top of the situation to get the ball back for his team. And a strong tackle. Can they do something positive on the counter-attack? And the pass provided by Danny Williams. Hazard! Williams! And it's gone in here. Just what Chelsea fans wanted to see. The lead extended to two goals. Well, here it is. How do you like him? In an open goal, please. No goalkeeper, no defenders. Where were they all? Hey, the Chelsea. It's going their way. 2-0. Schöne. On the ball, Zakaria Labiad. They've given it away. Nothing wrong with that idea. And the defender takes care of business. Well, they've been getting the substitute ready, and now they will make the personnel change. Now William. Kasper Dolberg. 
with their noses in front in the second half. What will be the thinking in the camp, Lee Dixon? The Chelsea players have to focus on not making any mistakes in order to protect this slender lead. If a bit of Aiden Azar. And with the goalkeeper. Stamford Bridge. Show your appreciation for today's... David Neres. Now, what can he do here? And in with a real chance. Only the keeper to beat. Super goalkeeping, it was one against one. Oh, I really fancy the attacker there to go round him, but it's brilliant goalkeeping in the end. Conte now. And that is all in this group stage contest, and it's a victory for Chelsea. Yeah, it was a good performance. Tight game, entertaining game, back and forth. Test for both sets of players, but one side has come out on top, but only just. Where do I sign? Well, seven figures for that. Less ten percent. I think it's just about in your budget, Danny. About time you moved out of this place. My mate can't hold on to it for much longer. Had to call in some serious favours. Give us a minute, will you? Yeah? Well, for that price, I'd want servants thrown in, pal. Well, anyways, it's, it takes time to free up that kind of cash. Either that or the money's not there. Well, seems like you're in a bit of a hurry to sort this deal, pal. Or well, maybe you've got something riding on it yourself. 